Hey guys, today we're going to be making a prayer cube. Now, prayer is one of the most important things we can do because prayer is literally we're talking directly with God. We don't have to go through anybody to talk to him. We get to talk to him directly and he answers us. It might not always be things that we want to happen, but he always knows what's best for us. But sometimes praying can get not boring, but you just kind of get used to it and it's like, prayer, no, nah, I don't really want to pray. Well, this is a really neat way to just help make prayer a little more fun and to help you remember what you should be praying for, okay? So we're going to be making a prayer cube. You should have a printout of a cube. If you don't have a printout, you can take a white paper or a thin colored paper and you can put it against your screen where the picture of the cube is. And then using a pen, you'll be able to see the lines and you can trace them, okay? So if you don't have a printer, all you need is a paper and a pen with your computer and you can trace it. The first thing we're gonna do for this prayer cube is we're gonna cut it out. So cut out your cube. So once you have your prayer cube cut out, you then need to decide what you're going to pray for. So you could do this either by drawing pictures or by writing words. On each side of it, you wanna have a category. For example, maybe one side is family and you write all the names of your family members or you draw a picture of everybody in your family. Maybe one is friends. Maybe one is you wanna pray for people who are sick or you want to pray for your teachers, okay? Whoever you wanna pray for or whatever, maybe you wanna pray for peace in the world or you wanna pray for all of those who don't have a home, for all the poor people. Okay, whoever you want to pray for, you want to write on or draw on your cube. You can decorate this as much as you want to make it personally for you. Okay, after you've written or drawn all the things on your cube, you're ready to fold it up. So what you want to do is you want to fold it on the lines going towards the middle here. I'm going to fold everything towards the middle. Just like this, I'm folding it. Also, you have these little flaps on the side. Make sure to fold those as well. Those are really important because those are going to help it stay together. Okay? So, here we go. We're folding. Folding, folding. Here we are almost unfolding. Okay, now it's easiest to use tape for this, but if you don't have any tape, then also glue would work. Preferably a glue stick because liquid glue can get really messy. Okay. So now I have everything folded. I'm ready to start putting it all together. If you folded everything towards the middle, it should kind of form its shape when you just fold it over like this, okay? So I'm gonna start with one piece of tape. And I'm first going to tape it at the top. I'm gonna try to put my tape on the inside if I can. That way I won't see it and it will look a little nicer, okay? However, you might need to also put some on the outside. I'm going to keep trying to put my tape onto my areas here. I'm going to do one. It helps if you put the tape on the flap first and then you stick it to the side. There's one, there's two. If you don't get it in the perfect angle the first time, just take the tape off gently so you don't rip it and then try again, okay? This may take a little work to put this together, but you know you can do it, okay? So I have three-fourths of my side. If you'd want to keep one side open so you could put something inside of your box or your cube, you could. But I'm going to tape the entire thing. Okay? Almost done. Now, when you're 
done your prayer cube, each night before you go to bed, you can put this next to your bed. And then each night, you could pray for everything, or you could try to pray for one thing each evening. So for example, you could roll your prayer cube, and if it lands on family, you pray for your family that evening. But if you want to pray for everything, which might be nice, then you could just hold it in your hands and start with family, then friends, then this, then that, then this, and that. Okay? So I hope you enjoy making your prayer cube, and I hope you put a lot of time and thought into who you're going to be praying for. Prayer is very powerful, so do not take it lightly. Prayer can really change things, guys. You're not just talking to the sky. You're talking to Jesus, who is your and my creator.